Chapter 811, Desolation Stone Beads Light rays poured down from the enormous formation in the sky, like a prison of light that trapped all the Yuan Gate disciples inside it. At this time, Lin Dong crazy actions were already all too clear. He did not intend to let off even a single Yuan Gate disciple present. Gasp! By the time everyone understood this point, even the other eight great super sect disciples could not help but gasp in their hearts. The faces of the top disciples from every faction even turned faintly pale. Clearly, they were greatly frightened by Lin Dong insane actions. Although there were ultimately some deaths and injuries in previous great sect competitions, no one had truly thought of completely exterminating another party. Even Zhou Tong had only killed a hundred Yuan Gate disciples, as well as the little Yuan King of that competition. Yet, Lin Dong was currently attempting to completely exterminate every single Yuan Gate disciple. This ruthlessness was sufficient to make one's hair stand on ends. Lunatic, this lunatic, if he really kills all the Yuan Gate disciples, Yuan Gate would likely go crazy, Wu Kun muttered with a pale face. The number of Dao sect disciples who have died at the Yuan Gate's hands are not few in number, Su Ruo bit her lips and said. Earlier, she had witnessed just how desperate the Dao sect had been forced to become. Moreover, she was new that Lin Dong valued relationships. Given his character, he would definitely go completely crazy with rage when he saw the deaths and injuries of the Dao sect disciples. The tactics of Lin Dong when he had was crazy with rage clearly caused even one's soul to tremble. Wu Kun was speechless. Soon after, he let out a sigh. The enmity between both parties could no longer be reconciled. The Yuan Gate disciples had planned on humiliating the Dao sect since the beginning. However, they never imagined that there was a murderous god like Lin Dong in the current batch of Dao sect disciples. The various sects cannot pursue anything done during the Great Sect competition, however, if Lin Dong really does as he intends, the relationship between Dao sect and Yuan Gate will freeze completely. Ling Qingzu softly stated. Many Dao sect disciples had died at the Yuan Gate's hands in past Great Sect competitions. It was not that these debts would not be paid, but that the time was not ripe. Now however, it is likely time for them to repay their debts. Ling Qingzu's eyes watched the pale-faced skinny young man in the distance. He stood on the crimson furnace, while the corners of his mouth contained an azure-like malevolence. Her expression was a little complicated. It seemed that this fellow really intended to turn this eastern Xian region upside down. Fool that does not know your limits. Not letting a single of my Yuan Gate disciples off. Aren't you afraid of being choked to death by your big words? In the sky, Yuan Kang's expression had become exceptionally terrifying. He stared at Lin Dong in a sinister manner as he sternly shouted. All Yuan Gate disciples, take formation. Yuan King lowered his head and roared towards the Yuan Gate disciples below. Understood. Those Yuan Gate disciples hurriedly responded in unison when they heard Yuan Kang. Grim and determined gazes seemed to fill the sky as they looked towards Lin Dong. Subsequently, they quickly began to set up a formation. In an instant, an extremely vast and mighty Yuan power ripple began to unfurl. I shall see just what you can do to us today. Lei Qian stood within the formation. His face was ferocious as he looked at Lin Dong and spoke with a savage smile, Lin Dong, go ahead and be arrogant here. Once we leave Unique Devil Region, you should be careful when appearing in Eastern Qian Region. Our Yuan Gate experts will be very interested in sparing with you. Dao Sect Disciples, take formation. At the Dao Sect direction, Ying Xiao Xiao suddenly cried out sternly when she saw the situation. Although the enormous formation in the sky was giving off extremely frightening undulations, the Yuan Gate Disciples ultimately had the numbers advantage. Moreover, Lin Dong's current condition was not good. They could not simply continue watching at this point in time. The Dao sect disciples immediately responded in Yuzhen when they heard Ying Xioxio's cry. They began to build a formation when Lin Dong waved his hand to and fro. Subsequently, a voice was transmitted over, This formation can only rely on my power. You, Ying Xiaoxiao knitted her umber black brows. 
Could it be that Lin Dong was planning to rely on his strength alone to fight against all the elite Yuan Gate disciples? Big Sis, trust him. Just as Ying Xiao Xiao was about to speak again, Ying Huan Huan pulled her sister's hand and said in a soft voice. Are you also going to watch him mess around? Ying Xiao Xiao spoke with anger. I simply believe in him, Ying Huan Huan smiled and said. Ying Xiao Xiao was taken aback. She glanced at the young lady beside her, before finally sighing helplessly. Perhaps, this was all they could do now. From within the Lindong's light formation, Yuan King looked at the formation that the Yuan Gate disciples had built. An ominous glint started to gather in his eyes, while his body slowly descended from the sky into the formation. Subsequently, he lifted his head and stared at Lin Dong with extremely viciousness as he spoke in a malicious voice, Lin Dong, since you have already spoken, I shall also inform you here that none of your Dao sect disciples will leave this place. Is that so? Lin Dong grinned evilly as his body slowly rose into the air. Finally, it entered the enormous light formation. I do not believe that this damned formation of yours will be able to block the combined attacks of so many disciples from my Yuan Gate. Yuan Kang's hand seal started to change. Immediately, monstrous light burst out from the Yuan Gate disciples' formation below. Majestic Yuan power gathered, before finally fusing into a several thousand feet large Yuan power light lion in the sky. Roar! The light lion roared at the heavens. This roar shook the land immediately causing the ground crumble as cracks frantically spread. Watch how I break this damn formation of yours. Yuan King expression was dark. With a sudden wave of his sleeve, the enormous light lion that had been formed by hundreds of Yuan Gate disciples immediately rushed out explosively. After which, it slammed into the light formation in the sky in front of countless shocked eyes. Its momentum caused one's legs to turn to jelly. Even an initial profound life stage practitioner could only back away from such an attack. Phew! Lin Dong looked down from above at the light lion, which was being rapidly magnified in his eyes. Soon after, he breathed in deeply. His slender fingertip flicked, and an ancient stone bead appeared between his fingers. This stone bead was the final gift that the great desolate tablet had given Lin Dong, the desolation beads. This thing had never been used by Lin Dong ever since it had landed in his hands. However, he had no choice but to use it today. Swoosh! Lin Dong gazed at the desolation stone bead in his hand. Soon after, his arm suddenly jerked as the stone bead abruptly shot out, transforming into a flash of grey. The grey flash did not give off an earth-shattering aura. It appeared like the light of a firefly compared to the several thousand feet large light lion. However, it still flew forward without any regret, and eventually collided with the lion under the numerous watching gazes. Sizzle sizzle. No loud sound appeared at the moment of impact. Everyone could clearly see a monstrous desolation force spread out from the stone bead. Under the erosion of the desolation force, the light lion, which was formed from the Yuan power of all the Yuan Gate disciples, actually started to wither at a shocking speed before finally dissipating. How is this possible? Yuan King and the rest watched this strange scene, as their pupils instantly tightened. An expression of disbelief finally appeared on their faces. They could not believe it. An attack that combined the full power of all the Yuan Gate disciples was actually dealt with by Lin Dong in such a bizarre manner. Be careful. Yuan Kang's expression suddenly changed while he stared at the sky. He had seen a grey flash descending from the sky, and in the end, it landed on the formation above him. Bang! Just as the words be careful escaped from his mouth, cracks swiftly appeared on the stone bead. Next, he could sense a power that borderlined on annihilation erupt from that tiny stone bead like a volcano. Boom! The entire sky seemed to tremble at this moment. The formation created by hundreds of Yuan Gate disciples tottered on the verge of collapse as the destructive force poured downwards. Break! Lin Dong's eyes were ice cold as he stood in the sky. A low voice echoed across the area. Boom! The annihilation-like fluctuation suddenly reached its peak as Lin Dong's voice echoed. 
Yuan King and the rest watched in horror as the cracks started to appear and spread on the formation established by the Yuan Gate disciples. Bang! The cracks spread. In the end, the formation completely exploded in front of countless terrified gazes. The Yuan Gate's final defense had crumbled. Chapter 812, Bitter Victory Boom! A loud earth-shaking noise rang out. The formation that shielded the Yuan Gate disciples exploded with a boom at this moment. Immediately, an extremely berserk energy frantically poured out in torrents. Puff puff puff! The formation exploded and the berserk energy swept outwards. Having lost their final line of defense, the faces of over a hundred of Yuan Gate disciples immediately turned deathly pale as fresh blood was wildly spat out. The entire Yuan Gate camp was in complete disarray. After wreaking havoc for a while, the berserk energy gradually scattered. Countless eyes from the area immediately shot over. After which, they saw that the Yuan Gate had been turned upside down. The faces of several of them were filled with extremely horrified expressions. It was a disaster. The hearts of many people violently shivered when they saw this scene. Only then did they completely believe that what Lin Dong had said earlier was true. He was really going to finish off all these Yuan Gate disciples. Such ruthlessness. I am glad I did not offend him. Xue Ling from the sword sect felt his scalp turn numb as he watched this scene. His heart repeatedly rejoiced at the fact that he had not forcefully attacked that Dao sect disciples at the beginning. Lin Dong, I will rip you into a thousand pieces. Yuan King was furious as he observed the damage done to the Yuan Gate disciples. Soon after, he lifted his head and gazed at Lin Dong, who was within the light formation. His roar was filled of venom. Beside Yuan Kang, Lei Qian and Ling Zhen were also in a rather sorry state. Their expressions were extremely gloomy as they watched this scene. Furthermore, there was some unconcealable shock under this gloominess. They were truly unable to imagine how Lin Dong was actually able to destroy the formation created by so many Yuan Gate disciples, and still injure them till such an extent all by himself. Lin Dong lowered his head. His eyes were indifferent as he looked at Yuan King and the rest. A moment later, a voice that was void of any emotion slowly spread downwards, All the debts that you owe our Dao sect shall be completely collected by myself today. The seal formed by Lin Dong's hands abruptly changed after his words faded. One could see that the ancient universe formation rotate in reverse once again as bizarre beams of light took shape at the center of the formation. Bastard, you dare! Yuan King sternly shouted. His expression changed when he saw this situation. Swoosh! Lin Dong ignored his shout. With a wave of his sleeve, the many bizarre light beams immediately came sweeping down from all directions. In the end, they shot towards the horrified Yuan Gate disciples from all directions like a grim reaper's scythe. Quickly retreat! Yuan King hurriedly cried out when he saw this. Chi Chi! However, the Yuan Gate disciples no longer had any way out after having lost the protection of the formation. All they could do was to release their Yuan power and form a protective layer outside their bodies. However, such a defense clearly had no effect against the light beams which contained the power of disintegration. Hence, everyone watched in horror as the Yuan Gate disciples began to disappear one after another when those light beams arrived. The disintegration force contained within the light beams directly erased them from this world. The scene before one's eyes was not one where blood and flesh flew in the air, and there were no screams of misery. There were only figures strangely disappearing one after another. This scene caused one to shudder. Everyone could only look on helplessly as the Yuan Gate disciples disappearing from this world at an astonishing speed. Within a short few minutes, less than half of the Yuan Gate disciples remained. You bastard, my Yuan Gate will not let you off. Lei Qian's eyes were scarlet red as he roared. Does your heart ache? Do you finally understand how it feels, an even more terrifying malevolence gradually surged onto Lin Dong's face as he lowered his head and laughed in a sinister manner. Didn't it feel good when you were killing my Dao sect disciples earlier? Come on, feel good for me now. Yuan King eyes flickered crazily. 
there was an incomparable bitter resentment gathering within them. However, he quickly breathed in deeply, before he spoke with a stern voice, Lin Dong, we might have gone a little overboard earlier. However, what you are doing now is too much. If this continues, it will be no good for anyone. Why don't we both take a step back in this great sect competition? Your Dao sect has lost many disciples, but my Yuan Gate has also suffered greatly. Why don't we just let this matter rest? Boss! Lei Qian immediately cried out with dissatisfaction when he heard this. Shut up! Yuan King suddenly shouted. His eyes were filled with a murderous aura as he stared at Lei Qian. Only then did the latter shut his mouth. This fellow's formation is far too terrifying. We are completely unable to break it. It is unwise to compete with him in ruthlessness at this stage. From the side, Ling Zhen spoke in grim voice. Haha, you are indeed worthy of being the little Yuan King. Being able to bend according to the circumstances, in the sky, Lin Dong laughed. However, he slowly shook his head. However, do you think that I, Lin Dong, am someone who hesitates when doing something? Lin Dong, if you really force us to that step, you might end up suffering too. Yuan King spoke in a grave voice. In that case, let us see just who will suffer in the end. Lin Dong smiled savagely. Since the situation had already reached this stage, it was impossible for him to stop. He was a decisive person to begin with, while Yuan King was a ruthless man and also knew how to endure silently. Who could rest and dine in peace when such an enemy remained at large? You asked for it. Yuan King had also been completely enraged by Lin Dong. His eyes were dark and stern as he looked towards Ling Zhen and Lei Qian, and spoke in a grave voice, attack together. The Yuan power in that brat's body is already exhausted. He will not last much longer. Yes. Upon hearing this, the Ling Zhen duo also nodded with cruelness in their eyes. All remaining Yuan Gate disciples, abandon your defenses and launch an offensive formation. From the situation earlier, it seemed that the strange light beams possessed the power of annihilation. An ordinary disciple was practically unable to block it. In that case, they might as well risk their lives and attack. Yes. Although those Yuan Gate disciples had frightened faces, they were also aware that it was pointless to say anything now that they had been forced to push to such a stage. Deep within their hearts however, they were vaguely regretting pushing the Dao sect disciples so far, if it were not for that, Lin Dong might not become so crazy. Swoosh! The figures of the Yuan King trio rushed out almost simultaneously. Majestic Yuan power whizzed out, and the trio displayed their strongest martial arts. Yuan God Codex, World Returning to the Yuan. Spirit God Codex, Spiritual Vein Calamity Finger. Thunder God Codex, Thunder Demon Prison. Rumble. The monstrous Yuan power showed some traces of being somewhat crazy at this moment. The trio had all pushed their strengths to the limit. Frightening attacks that caused one to have difficulty breathing flew towards Lin Dong. Swoosh swoosh. Behind them, numerous Yuan Gate disciples also unleashed their strongest attacks which frantically unfurled towards the light formation. This desperate attack appeared to cause the land to tremble. Lin Dong watched this scene as scarlet red surged out in his eyes. In the next moment, he raised his head and heartily laughed at the heavens. Both of his hands spread outwards as threads of blood shot out from the pores all over his body, causing him to instantly transform into a bloody figure, while his body also shrunk a size. If you wish to struggle with your lives on the line, I shall accompany all of you too. Threads of blood shot out. Finally, they were rapidly absorbed by the light formation. Immediately, the entire large formation suddenly gained a faint scarlet red color. Subsequently, the formation began to rumble as it rotated. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Bizarre light beams that contained the power of disintegration once again shot out from the formation, and the Yuan Gate disciples below started to swiftly disappear at an astonishing speed. While the Yuan King trio's attacks were continuously disintegrated and dissipated, they forcibly relied on their majestic Yuan power, 
that had merged together, to withstand the disintegration. Subsequently, they swiftly approached Lin Dong, who was within the light formation. They could sense that the current Lin Dong was truly at his limit. Perhaps, all they needed was a light attack and they would be able to kill him. Bastard, your good days are over. Once we finish you off, I will send all those Dao sect disciples to accompany you in the underworld. Lei Qian's expression was savage as his roar rumbled across the sky. Under the watch of countless unblinking gazes, the Yuan King trio steadily neared Lin Dong. Everyone held their breath at this moment. They knew, that the final outcome would determine by in one go. He <laughs> he. Lin Dong, whose body was drenched in fresh blood, forcefully opened his eyes. He watched the trio rushing over with faces filled with malice. A slight arc slowly lifted on his face that was now so bloody that it looked rather terrifying. Soon after, both of his hands formed a series of strange seals as a soft cry was emitted from within his mouth. Halt! A mysterious undulation swiftly rippled outwards in a circular manner. After which, the Yuan King trio's charging figures were momentarily stilled. Swoosh! At that very instant, an extremely thick light beam suddenly rushed out from behind Lin Dong body the moment those three stilled. Finally, it ruthlessly bombarded their bodies before their horrified eyes. It's over. When the light beam bombarded the trio's bodies, Lin Dong's exceptionally hoarse and weak voice quietly reverberated across the entire area. Chapter 813, Coming to a Close the resplendent bizarre light beam swept across the horizon and smashed into the Yuan King trio's bodies under uncountable watching gazes. Chi Chi! Everyone seemed to see a terrified expression appearing on the faces of the trio at the moment of impact. The Yuan King trio's gaze pierced through the resplendent light beam and stared unwaveringly at the skinny figure that was only a dozen feet away. In their eyes, there was fear, and also dissatisfaction. Moreover, there was also some disbelief. Even at this time, they were still unable to believe that all their Yuan Gate elite disciples would actually be annihilated by a single person, Lin Dong. Yuan Gate Disciples, Complete Annihilation Such ruthlessness had surpassed even the Dao Sex Zhou Tong from back then. The trio's gazes intertwined at the very last moment. All of them saw regret in each other's eyes. If they knew beforehand that Lin Dong would be this savage, they should not have pressed Dao Sex so hard. Who could imagine that this seemingly good nature fellow would actually be this frightening when he went crazy? A miscalculation. A voice that was filled with dissatisfaction slowly echoed. Quickly after, the sight before the trio's eyes quickly turned to darkness, as their bodies also rapidly disappeared under the disintegration light beams. Buzz buzz. The incomparably large formation in the sky began to tremble as it faded. Finally, the bright light completely scattered, along with the bodies of the Yuan Gate's three little kings. This entire place became completely silent as everyone gazed at the now empty space. No one dared to breathe too loudly at this moment. Their eyes were dull as they looked in the direction where the Yuan Gate disciples had been. Of the huge black mass of people that were originally there, none were left. There were 537 Yuan Gate disciples. Plus the Yuan King trio, their numbers made up 540. Yet, at this moment, none of them had survived. They were completely annihilated. Although the rocky ground was currently not littered with corpses, nor did blood flow like rivers, everyone could still sense a chill spreading out from this place. This chill entered from the bottom of their feet and charged directly towards their heads. This person was too ruthless. Many gazes gathered towards the blood-soaked figure in the sky, and their scalps could not help but feel somewhat numb. The great sect competition had been held many times. Although a great battle would occur during each competition, there was not a single instance where all the elite disciples of a sect were completely exterminated. Not only did this require extreme ruthlessness, but it also required an extremely frightening strength. Such strength had not been achieved even by the exceptional genius from Dao sect, Zhou Tong, when he had participated in the Great Sect competition back then. Now however, it had been accomplished by Lin Dong. This time around. 
Yuan Gate will truly go crazy, Wu Kun breathed in deeply, suppressing the great shock in his heart. His complexion was currently a little pale. Clearly, he had been frightened by Lin Dong's tactics. Upon hearing this, the surrounding Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace disciples deeply nodded in agreement. Those who could participate in the Great Sect competition were basically elite disciples. Yet, all of these disciples were now lost. It was likely that Yuan Gate would feel great pain even with their foundation. The Great Sect competition is originally not meant for sparing. Instead, it is a life and death experience. Any incident that occurs within it is fair, in past Great Sect competitions, the losses suffered by the Dao Sect disciples were also quite severe. The last competition, even that great senior sister of the Sky Hall was surrounded and killed by the Yuan Gate disciples. The reason these Yuan Gate disciples act in such a domineering manner is also because they could rely on the rules of the competition, hence causing the furious Dao sect to have no choice but to grit their teeth and swallow their anger. Ling Qingzhu softly continued, however, it is likely that Yuan Gate will never have imagined that they would completely repay all their past debts this time around. From today onwards, perhaps the name of the strongest amongst the younger generation of the Eastern Qian region will belong to Lin Dong. Wu Kun sighed and nodded. He knew that those who had witnessed this desperate great battle today would no longer dare to have any intention of challenging Lin Dong. The number one amongst the younger generation was indeed a deserving title. However, although it is perfectly reasonable for Lin Dong to be so ruthless due to the rules of the competition, it is likely that, Given their style, Yuan Gate will not take this lying down, this matter is not considered over. Ling Qingzu muttered to herself. After which, she had a complicated look in her eyes as she looked towards the figure in the sky, whose entire body was giving off desperation. This person truly intended to turn the eastern Xian region upside down. The light in the sky finally disappeared completely, while Lin Dong's body staggered a little. Weakness and fatigue that could not be described frantically spread out from his limbs and bones, causing his vision to start turning black. Buzz. Lin Dong suddenly heard a buzzing sound from the sky to his front while his vision was gradually turning dim. He weakly blinked his eyes, only to see an emblem flickering with light suspended at that spot. Waves of extremely majestic ripples were being emitted while the light flickered. Spirit Emblem. Lin Dong gazed at the emblem that contained an extremely majestic energy. His weak spirit violently trembled. This spirit emblem was evidently left behind by Yuan Kang. The disintegration power had turned Yuan Kang into nothingness, yet this spirit emblem had been left behind. Lin Dong's astonishment only lasted for a split second. Subsequently, he abruptly extended his hand abruptly and grabbed the spirit emblem. Of course, his speed might be quick, but it was still seen by many people. Surprisingly, however, those present were actually unable to summon even the slightest courage to snatch the spirit emblem, despite being faced with such a rare and unique treasure. It was clear that Lin Dong's previous display still lingered in their eyes. Lin Dong's strength seemed to have become completely spent after the spirit emblem entered his hand. The sight before his eyes swiftly started to turn black as his body directly fell towards the ground. From the looks of it, he was at his weakest. Swoosh! Ying Huan Huan's lovely body moved when she saw the situation from the ground. She hurried to into the air and supported Lin Dong, who was so weak that he was about to faint. She gazed at that dried-up figure of Lin Dong that was dyed red by blood, as her large eyes involuntarily turned red. Her long and beautiful hand contained some iciness as it wiped at the blood on Lin Dong's face. With red eyes, she said, you are really too reckless. Haha. <laughs> I have promised sect leader to protect all of you, however, we have still lost so many seniors and juniors, Lin Dong's body was practically completely leaning on the gently and soft figure of the young lady as he mumbled with closed eyes. Wait for me to wake up before leaving the unique devil region. Before his completely lost consciousness, Lin Dong's weak voice transmitted into Ying Huan Huan's ears. After which, his mind fully descended into darkness. Idiot, you have already done very well. 
Ying Huan Huan looked at the young face that was filled with fatigue. Those large eyes of hers flashed with an exceptionally gentle expression. She quickly carried Lin Dong and slowly landed from the sky. Soon after, the Dao sect disciples came surging over like floodwaters. Wang Yan watched the Dao sect disciples rush over in an almost crazy manner as he shook his head. That usually emotionless face of his currently possessed an extremely ugly smile. This fellow, is truly terrifying. The Yuan Gate disciples had been completely annihilated. This clearly caused Wang Yan to feel extremely joyous. Every great sect competition, the Dao sect disciples would suffer great losses after being pressed by the Yuan Gate disciples. They had held back this anger for so many years. Now however, they had managed to take revenge. Senior Sister Xiao Xiao, what should we do now? Qing Ye gazed at the unconscious Lin Dong, before looking towards Ying Xiao Xiao as he asked. This great sect competition had finally come to a close. This spot was quite close to the teleporting formation. If they wished, they would be able to leave this place within a day. However, Leaving might be easy, but once they left the unique devil region, all of them were aware that the entire eastern Xian region would likely fall into an uproar because of this incident. The oncoming storm was even more frightening than the battle here. Ying Xiao Xiao knitted her brows. She was similarly aware of the commotion that would be stirred when word of this matter spread. However, this was unavoidable. Lin Dong said to wait for him to awaken before leaving the unique devil region. By the side, Ying Huan Huan softly stated. Ying Xiao Xiao pondered for a moment after hearing this. She subsequently nodded. It seemed that Lin Dong was also clearly aware of just what a frightening thing he had done. Once this matter spread, Yuan Gate would definitely go crazy. Although he had the rules of the Great Sect competition as protection, no one could guarantee that Yuan Gate would not take any action. Hence, Lin Dong must be awake when he left the unique devil region. Moreover, he also needed to have recovered his fighting strength. All disciples, stay and rest here. We will wait for Lin Dong to awaken. Ying Xiao Xiao was also decisive. She immediately issued her order. None of the numerous Dao sect disciples had any objections when they heard this. After which, the huge group sat on the ground forming a circular shape that protected Lin Dong in the middle. It seems that the Dao sect disciples do not plan to leave immediately, Wu Kun commented when he saw this. This is because they will face an even greater storm once they leave the unique devil region. Lin Dong has an extremely cautious character. He will definitely not allow himself to be in such a dangerous situation while in a weakened state, Ling Qingzu hesitated for a moment. After which, she beckoned with her hand and a jade bottle appeared within it. This jade bottle subsequently turned into a ray of light that shot towards the distant Ying Xiao Xiao. Oh! Ying Xiao Xiao received the jade bottle and was slightly startled. She lifted her head and looked at the far-off Ling King Zhu. This is the clear jade saliva of the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace, it will be of some use to his injuries. Ling King Zhu's faint voice was transmitted over from a distance. Thank you. Ying Xiao Xiao clearly did not expect that Ling Qingzu would actually take the initiative to lend a hand. However, she did not reject the offer. After keeping the jade bottle, she nodded towards Ling Qingzu and thanked her. All of you, tell him to be careful when he leaves the unique devil region. Ling Qingzu softly said. Without further ado, she turned around and led the large group of Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace disciples to fly away. After the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace disciples left, the remaining super sects also began to leave. One could imagine that they would bring news of this out, and in the end, it would shake the entire eastern Xian region. Chapter 814, Shock With the great sect competition slowly coming to a close, the various factions also began to leave the unique devil region one after another. Sure enough, as people left, the events that had occurred in unique devil region also frantically spread like wildfire. Yuan Gate Disciples, completely annihilated. The face of anyone who had learnt of this news would definitely be filled with shock and disbelief. 
Yuan Gate was the strongest super sect in the eastern Xian region, and its disciples were usually the elite amongst the younger generation of the eastern Xian region. Every batch of three little kings from Yuan Gate would have difficulty finding an opponent who could match them amongst the younger generation of the eastern Xian region. However, during this great sect competition, not only were the Yuan Gate three little kings killed, but even the 500 over Yuan Gate elite disciples were unable to walk out alive from the unique devil region. Just what had happened within the unique devil region? News spread in a crazy manner. Soon, the answer to that question also spread. Everyone became slack-jawed when they heard about the mastermind behind it. The expected situation where a couple of great sects joined hands to deal with the Yuan Gate disciples did not occur. Neither was there the expected huge-scale chaotic battle between disciples. A single person, had fought against all the Yuan Gate disciples alone, and completely massacred them in the end. Dao Sex Lin Dong In a short night, this name had swept across the entire eastern Xian region at a terrifying speed. This person is truly a monster. This was the only thought everyone had after hearing the news. They were really unable to understand how it was possible for Lin Dong to defeat not only the Yuan Gate Three Little Kings, but also finish off such a quantity of Yuan Gate disciples with just his power alone. This was not something that a single person could achieve. While many people were shocked by this news, some of the sharper individuals began to sense the subsequent brewing storm. Although the disciples from the various sects would ultimately suffer some losses during each great sect competition, there had never been an incident of losing every single disciple. Moreover, the main characters of this incident were the Yuan Gate disciples. As the strongest sect on the eastern Xian region, this matter would undoubtedly completely trigger the Yuan Gate's fury. While no one needed to be responsible for any deaths or injuries during the Great Sect competition, given the Yuan Gate's style, how was it possible for them to swallow such a bitter pill alone? The loss of hundreds of elite disciples was like cutting off the Yuan Gate's flesh despite its great foundation. Hence, after receiving this shocking news, some of the sensitive individuals could sense that there was an even more terrifying storm was brewing. The teleportation formation within the Unique Devil region led to Unique Devil City. Hence, this place became the source of the information, the liveliness of the city had once again soared. The battle between Lin Dong and the Yuan Gate disciples had undoubtedly become the topic of greatest interest in the city. Due to this being the location where the disciples returned to, the various super sect group leaders did not leave Unique Devil City. Instead, they quietly waited for the disciples from their respective sects to return. Obviously, the Yuan Gate group leaders was amongst them. However, their wait did not lead to the usual news of success. Instead, they ended up receiving news that caused all of them to feel dizzy. Yuan Gate Disciples, completely annihilated. While the news spread and Unique Devil City was in an uproar over it, countless pairs of eyes were also cast towards the location where the Yuan Gate residents in the city. They could imagine that all hell had broken out in that place. Bang! In a large hall with a heavy atmosphere, a solid wooden table was suddenly turned to dust by the slam of a palm. The roar of an elder with ferocious expression and scarlet red eyes thundered across the hall. Completely annihilated. Can someone tell me just what is going on? How can that little bastard called Lin Dong from the Dao sect possess such capability? At this moment, there were about a dozen Yuan Gate upper echelon in the hall. There were six elders amongst them whose faces were filled with extreme rage. They were the ones leading the Yuan Gate team this time around. At the same time, they were also section heads of the Yuan Gate's eight sections, which was equivalent to the four hall chiefs of the Dao Sex Four Halls. Each of them was at the advanced profound life stage. That little bastard must have employed some kind of dirty methods. Otherwise, how can him possibly be a match for Yuan Kang? Even someone as fierce as Zhou Tong from back then was unable to cause our Yuan Gate disciples to suffer such losses. Another elder also spoke with a somewhat twisted face. That brat, just what is his background? Isn't the strongest disciple from Dao sect Ying Xiao Xiao? Where did this Lin Dong come from? Another elder asked in a dark voice. 
the remaining people were at a loss upon hearing these words. Lin Dong's strength was not considered outstanding amongst the Dao sect disciples. Who would pay attention to him for no reason? Sir Lu Yu, this Lin Dong, is the champion of the Hundred Empire War a year ago. However, he did not choose to join our Yuan Gate in the end and had instead went to the Dao sect, a person in the large hall suddenly replied carefully. What? He already possessed such ability after having joined the Dao sect for a mere year? Lu Tong, how did you make your selection back then? You actually allowed such a person to join the Dao sect. The elder from earlier shouted sternly. His face immediately turned cold when he heard this. The person who had replied trembled for a moment when he heard the stern shout. He lifted his head and revealed a face filled with bitterness. Surprisingly, he was that Lu Tong, who had went to the Hundred Empire Mountain to choose disciples back then. Sir, that little brat seems to be very resistant to our Yuan Gate. I had spent a lot of effort to convince him, but he still refused to join. Lu Tong answered with a bitter smile. He was really unable to imagine that the young man, who was nothing in his eyes a year ago, would actually completely annihilate their Yuan Gate disciples in the Great Sect competition a year later. Disgraceful bastard! If you are unable to pull such a person to our side, you should find an opportunity to dispose of him. Are you stupid? An elder cried out in fury. Lu Tong felt like a late autumn cicada that could not chirp as he hurriedly agreed. He was aware that these people were currently not in the right state of mind due to anger. Should they be displeased, it was likely that they would even attack. It is pointless to be angry now. Everyone, how should we handle this matter? An elder with an ice-cold expression waved his hand and spoke in a deep voice. Our Yuan Gate disciples are not people that can be killed so easily. We cannot let off Lin Dong off so easily. A person spoke with a dark tone. However, the Great Sect competition has its rules. If we are to take action, we will be breaking the rules. It is likely that the Dao Sect will not sit back and do nothing. Those few hall chiefs from the Dao sect are still waiting here after all. So what if the four of them are here? Don't tell me our Yuan Gate disciples should just die for no reason. That's right. We must definitely make that brat pay with his life. Otherwise, what dignity will our Yuan Gate possess in the future? Furious noises spread echoed within large hall, as murder was revealed in each and every one of these Yuan Gate upper echelon's eyes. In the end, they came to a decision. They would first send this news back to the sect, while they would quietly wait for the Dao sect disciples to exit here. Not matter what, they absolutely would not easily let off that brat called Lin Dong. While the Yuan Gate upper echelon argued until their faces turned red, the atmosphere within a guest room in which the Dao sect disciples occupied in Unique Devil City was a little strange. Four people were seated within while their hands gently stroked the back of their chairs. It was a long time before the Sky Hall Master, Chi Lei, at the leader's seat, finally adjusted his state of mind and slowly said, That news, have you all heard of it? Chen Zhen and the other two Hall Masters exchanged glances with each other. Soon after, they nodded with complicated expressions and said, This news, is a little shocking. God damn it! Chi Lei's hand slammed heavily onto the table, as a curse involuntarily erupted from his mouth. This little brat Lin Dong, just how the hell did he do it? How could he have not only killed the three little Yuan kings, but also murdered those five hundred over Yuan Gate disciples all by himself? The Chen Zhen trio looked at each other. They shook their heads and pondered for a while before replying, This matter, it does feel rather great. The expressions of the three of them were all quite grave. However, these subsequent words caused their grave expressions to become extremely strange. It might feel great, these Yuan Gate bastards have killed so many of our Dao sect disciples. It is not the least bit excessive to kill all of them this time around. Chi Lei nodded earnestly as he said. Cough. Chen Zhen coughed softly. From the looks of it, if he did not issue a reminder, they would continue getting entangled on the question about whether it felt great. However, 
those Yuan Gate bastards will likely not let this matter rest, the Earth Hall Master, Xia Yan, remarked. Humph, one's life or death does not matter in the Great Sect competition. Just how many of our Dao Sect disciples have been killed at the Yuan Gate's hands in past Great Sect competitions? Lin Dong did not go the least bit overboard. If their Yuan Gate dares to use this as a reason, our Dao Sect will accompany them until the end. The Flood Hall Master, Zhu Shan, snorted coldly. Chi Lei narrowed his eyes. He pondered for a moment before speaking, send this news back to the Dao Sect immediately. Tightly monitor the teleportation formation in the city at all times. Once Lin Dong and the rest appear, immediately head over and protect them. I believe that those old fellows from Yuan Gate will not simply leave like this. I... The Chen Zhen trio nodded heavily when they heard this. A cold glint vaguely flickered in their eyes. However, Chen Zhen, your desolate hall has really produced an incredible disciple this time, Chi Lei suddenly looked at Chen Zhen. His voice was filled with carefreeness. Even senior Zhou Tong from back then was not as domineering as this little fellow. Ha ha! Chen Zhen lifted his head and laughed heartily. On his aged face, was unconcealable pride and joy. One day after another passed in unique Devil City. The atmosphere inside the city also became increasingly tense. Everyone knew that the powerful experts from Yuan Gate and Dao Sect had yet to leave. Evidently, the Great Sect competition might be over, but the subsequent matters had only just begun. On the fifth day, within unique Devil Region, the young man who had already become the focus of attention for countless people, had finally begun to awaken from his unconscious state. Chapter 815, Return By the time Lin Dong opened his eyes again, what entered them was a slightly dusky sky. He simply watched the sky in this startled fashion, as he allowed the memories in his mind to recover like floodwaters. Senior brother Lin Dong has awakened. However, his peace did not last for long before a extremely joyous voice suddenly rang out from his surroundings. Soon after, a wave of noise and hurried footsteps were transmitted over. Soon, Lin Dong saw that he was being surrounded and observed by hundreds of people. Lin Dong felt a slight warmth in his heart as he gazed at these Dao sect seniors and juniors with joy and worry on their faces. Soon after, he slowly nodded. The crowd quickly separated as Ying Xiao Xiao, Ying Huan Huan, and a few others hurried over. Joy from being relieved of a large burden immediately gushed out in Ying Huan Huan's beautiful large eyes when she saw the now conscious Lin Dong. However, Lin Dong could still see some hidden tiredness under her joy. You have finally woken up, you have been unconscious for five days. If you still showed no signs of waking up, we were planning to carry you back to the Dao sect. Ying Huan Huan squatted down beside Lin Dong and said with a captivating smile. Five days hui. Lin Dong smiled and was not surprised. He twisted and stretched his body. The originally exhausted Yuan power within it was surging once again. It even faintly seemed to be more abundant than it was in the past. The many injuries on his body had also completely healed. Your body's recovery ability is very strong. However, you lost too much essence blood. It is fortunate that Ling Qingzhu gave us the clear jade saliva. Otherwise, you would not be awake right now. Ying Xiao Xiao commented by the side. Ling Qingzhu. Lin Dong was slightly taken aback. Soon after, he nodded. Of course, Huan Huan has been taking close care of you during these few days. She has not even closed her eyes for five days. Ying Xiao Xiao gently smiled and said. Sis. Ying Huan Huan's pretty face blushed a little as she gave Ying Xiao Xiao a rebuking look. This appearance caused some of the surrounding juniors and seniors to laugh in a friendly and envious manner. Thank you. Lin Dong gazed at the slightly red-faced young lady beside him and thanked as he felt a slight warmth in his heart. You have done a meritorious service for our Dao sect. It is only right to take care of you. Moreover, Kington is also very worried about you. Ying Huan Huan pointed at Kington beside her. At this moment, the other young lady also had slightly red eyes. 
it was likely that she had been very worried while he was unconscious. Lin Dong stood up. He rubbed Kington's small head and laughed, silly girl. Aren't I fine? It is all because I am useless. I thought that I would be able to help you, Kington slowly lowered her head in response to Lin Dong's act of comforting her. She felt a little sad. The reason that she had left home was because she did not wish for Lin Dong to risk his life all alone in a desperate struggle. She had originally believed that the current her was able to help Lin Dong. However, when Lin Dong fought Yuan King alone, she discovered that she was still so helpless. Over two years of training seemed to be completely useless. I do not need you to stand in front of me. Otherwise, I as an older brother will be too useless, Lin Dong grinned and said, as he gently hugged this sad young lady. Kington leaned against Lin Dong's chest. Her small hands involuntarily tightened slowly, as determination flashed across her intelligent eyes. She will no longer skive when training in the future. Brother Chen Gui, many thanks this time. Lin Dong released Kington and cupped his hands together towards Chen Gui in a solemn manner. If it was not because Chen Gui had intervened and delayed Yuan Kang, it was likely, that the losses suffered by the Dao sect disciples after he arrived, would be even more astonishing. Chen Gui hurriedly waved his hands to and fro when he saw this. He now no longer dared to treat this young man before him as an ordinary person. Having exchanged blows with Yuan Kang, Chen Gui was naturally clearly aware just how strong the former was. However, even someone as strong as Yuan Qing was ultimately turned into nothingness at Lin Dong's hands. Additionally, the over 500 elite Yuan Gate disciples who had disappeared along with Yuan Qing. Chen Gui had always believed that he was considered decisive when he chose to kill. However, if he was to compare himself with Lin Dong, he would be akin to a child comparing himself to an adult. At the very least, if he was standing in Lin Dong's position, it was likely that he would have difficulty going so far. Have the others left Unique Devil Region? Lin Dong's eyes swept around him. The entire place, which had originally been filled by people, was now empty. Yes. The Great Sect competition is basically over. Hence all the disciples have already left Unique Devil Region and returned to Unique Devil City. Ying Xiao Xiao nodded and said. Unique Devil City is likely in an upheaval now, Wang Yan looked at Lin Dong and remarked. Lin Dong nodded. He was naturally clearly aware of what a horrifying thing he had done. The Great Sect competition had been held so many times, but no one had ever taken things as far as he had, killing every single disciples of a sect. Moreover, it was the most powerful sect in the eastern Xian region, Yuan Gate. Once we leave Unique Devil region, we will swiftly join up with Marshal Uncle Chi Lei and the rest. After that, we will return to the Dao sect. The Great Sect competition is after all a life and death battle. Yuan Gate will not have any excuse regardless of how great their rage is. Ying Xiao Xiao said. Let's go. Lin Dong turned around. His eyes looked into the distance, as the hand within his sleeve slowly tightened. Although he had indeed been a little too vicious, and he was clearly aware that he would become a thorn in the eyes of Yuan Gate by doing this, he had no regrets. If he was given a second chance, he would still unhesitatingly annihilate all the Yuan Gate disciples. Otherwise, wouldn't those Dao sect disciples have died in vain? Lin Dong's figure took the lead and rushed forward after his voice sounded. Soon after, the large group of Dao sect disciples immediately followed. They swept past the sky and hurried towards the far-off teleportation formation. Everyone was clearly aware that there was likely an even greater whirlpool awaiting them there. Unique Devil City Over this period of time, Unique Devil City was just like a volcano that would erupt at any time, causing the atmosphere within the entire city to be exceptionally explosive. Although the Great Sect competition was already over, the human traffic within the city had not reduced but instead become even greater. Even those individuals from the super sex did not show any signs of leaving. It was likely that everyone was clearly aware that it was not completely over yet. A beautiful figure clothed in snow-white clothes stood atop a pavilion at a corner of Unique Devil City, 
while a pair of clear eyes gazed towards the city center. It was the spot connected to the teleportation formation of Unique Devil Region. Senior Sister King Zhu, Big Brother Lin Dong and the rest have yet to come out. Could something have happened? Sir Ro asked in a somewhat worried manner from behind Ling King Zhu. Lin Dong's injuries this time are not light. Given his character, he very clearly understands how much trouble he has drawn to himself due to what he has done. Therefore, he will not easily show himself unless he recuperates to his peak condition. Ling King Zhu softly said. Sir Ro nodded slightly. Soon after, she glanced at Ling King Zhu and commented, Senior Sister King Zhu, you, and Big Brother Lin Dong seem to have a special relationship. Sir Ro was after all also a girl, and was more observant. Although King Zhu was cool and aloof to everyone, it was still possible for Sir Ro to detect that the former acted a little differently when it came to Lin Dong's situation. Ling King Zhu was also startled by these words from Sir Ro. However, her face did not change at all as she replied in an indifferent manner, I met him once in the past. Additionally, he has also helped me when I was searching for the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond in Unique Devil Region. Oh! Sir Ro nodded and did not inquire any further. Ling King Zhu quietly sighed in relief within her heart when she saw this. Just as she was about to speak, her eyes suddenly focused as her gaze shifted towards the city center. She clenched her jade-like fists tightly as she muttered, The Deo sect disciples have come out. By the side, Sir Ro's face turned serious when she heard this. She was clearly aware that the city was currently like a volcano that was waiting to erupt at a certain moment. It was very possible that Lin Dong would be the spark to light the fuse. At the center of Unique Devil City was a tall altar. At the top of this altar was a sparkling formation, and this formation was the one that linked to the teleportation formation in the depths of Unique Devil Region. However, this formation only went one way, one could exit but not enter through it. A continuous stream of people exited this teleportation formation over this period of time. However, after the initial huge exodus, those that came later were lone individuals or members of small factions. Hence, they did not stir much of a commotion when they appeared. Of course, although these people who had appeared out from the formation were insignificant, it did not change the fact that this spot had now become the focal point of the entire city. Buzz buzz. At this moment, light suddenly flashed on the altar that had been peaceful for half a day. Initially, not many people bothered about it. However, when they discovered that the flickering of the light was becoming increasingly rapid, several people's expressions began to change. This was because they knew that such a scene would only appear when a large group of people was appearing. Most of the super sect disciples within the unique devil region had already exited. The only ones still remained, were the Deo Set disciples. Are they finally coming out? Several people muttered to themselves. Their eyes possessed some anticipation. All of them very much wanted to see just what kind of monster the young man, who had shook the entire eastern Xian region, was. The eyes of the entire city shifted over with a swoosh sound, and gathered at the top of the altar. The light finally began to gradually weaken under their gathered gazes. Finally, hundreds of figures appeared from nowhere. The badges on their chest allowed others to confirm their identities. Deo Sect Disciples The originally noisy city seemed to have become quiet at this moment. After which, all eyes shot towards the skinny figure right at the front. The latter's serene face totally did not appear like a person who had performed such an astonishing act. In the sky, Lin Dong's expression was calm as he gazed upon the strange atmosphere, while both of his fists slowly clenched. Bang bang! At this moment, monstrous auras from within the city began to unfurl like a storm. A dozen figures came rushing over from the distance. At the same time, a roar that was filled with murderous intent also rumbled. You ruthless little bastard! We have waited a long time for you! Return with us to the Yuan Gate to atone for you crimes. The monstrous aura spread apart, and six elderly figures with dark expressions flew over, and appeared in the sky above. Atonement? What crime has Lin Dong committed? 
you old shameless fogies. Do you really think that our Deo sect are a bunch of softies? Go ahead and try us. However, a sneer suddenly erupted from another part of the city when these six old men with murderous auras arrived. Four figures walked across the air and hovered in the sky, from their appearance, Chile, Chen Zhen, and the other two hall masters. Countless individuals in the entire city held their breaths as they watched this scene. As expected, these two super sects had clashed.